Hello, our capstone project was with John Deere. We were tasked to review SQL Server Integration Services by Microsoft. A little bit about our project team, it consisted of Derek Evanson, Jack Morgan, and Ryan Nelson. We were in close communications with John Deere's Electronic Solutions team and met every Tuesday. A little bit about John Deere as a company, they manufacture heavy equipment for multiple industries, agriculture, construction, forestry, and lawn care. Here based in Fargo, they manufacture integrated electronics, such as embedded controls, displays, and user interfaces, and specialty sensors. The problem at hand is John Deere collects a lot of data, and this data is coming from manufacturing and customer orders. And in order to handle this data and move it between different databases and facilities, they use ETL software. This ETL software stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. And I'll get to that later, but the important thing to know is that the current ETL software is going to go through some changes currently. And they would like our project team to review SQL Server Integration Services as a potential alternative for the next four to five years. At the end of our project, we will be handing them all of our uh, reports, we will be handing them all of our deliverables, and our demonstrations, which we have been providing them on a weekly basis. With some additional research on their end, they will determine whether or not between its cost, its features, and its ease of use, and its performance, whether or not they are going to choose to go with it. Being able to meet with John Deere's Electronic Solutions team on a weekly basis allowed us to quickly create a design for our lab. Uh, knowing what sort of user stories we needed to accomplish, we wanted to simulate what John Deere had at their own facilities. So we set up our own ETL lab, and we tested our, uh, out the SSIS software. Uh, we it went with Windows Server 2016, and after some trial and some testing, we went with hosting several virtual machines at NDSU. A simplified explanation of what ETL software is for and what it can do is that it allows you to extract data from a source, then transform it and change it in some sort of manner, either adding to it or combining it with something existing, and then loading it into a destination. So one example, on the bottom, you can see there are several rows, or there are columns, and we are extracting that from a SQL Server database. We are then going to transform it and then combine it with several columns from an Oracle database. On this slide, I kind of have an example of what an ETL job would look like and its life cycle. Uh, it's also important to note that ETL is not one encompassing software, it's several softwares working together. So we are creating a package in Visual Studio and we are deploying it to SQL Server Management Studio and creating a job. We can then create several jobs and we can schedule them at different times. So Monday at 5 p.m. and then another at Tuesday at 8 p.m. We can also then set up dependencies, we can set up monitoring and notifications. So if job one fails, uh, we can have it so it can report to us or to skip to another one. Original design, we decided that we were going to go with two virtual machines, one that would house all our tools and one that would hold all of our data. Ultimately, we ended up having three, and the third one had all of our Oracle tools, or our additional Oracle tools that had some conflicting configurations with those that we had on our first server. Some of the tools and software that we were using in our ETL lab consisted of Visual Studio, SQL Server Data Tools, SQL Server Management Studio, and SQL Server with its SQL Server agent. Our data sources that we were using was an Oracle database, a SQL Server database, an FTP server, and a file share. After meeting with John Deere several times and fully understanding what features they wanted us to cover, we prioritized them and we grouped like features into user stories. For most of these user stories, we wanted to know its features existence, its ease of use, its def of use, its setup, and alternative methods of achieving its functionality and its organization. Here, on this slide, we have a sample of some of the user stories that we covered. Firstly, we have SQL to Oracle, and vice versa, and the same goes for SQL to a file share and SQL to an FTP server. We also wanted to know about notifications, external scripts, error handling, logging and monitoring, data type conversions, dependencies, reporting, administration, and execution styles. 